all right good morning good afternoon good evening wonderful people lovers of freedom all over the world wherever on a day you're welcome to let's talk tv your one and only youtube platform that gives you the updated news and information on things where they happen for the land please subscribe to this channel turn on your notification and we will notify you whenever we drop our spanking news one thing you're sure on let's talk tv is to get them the updated news and information on all the matter uh, where they happen uh, for the land please subscribe to this channel uh, once again and continue to choose um, our news platform to get your updated news and information straight to the news simon Epa sabotaging our efforts in southeast chief of defense staff tells representative chief of defense staff uh, don't come out uh, there tell representative concerning uh, simon ekpa i wondered why these people you know are hitting on uh, simon ekpa he is only uh, doing the needful to make sure uh, that um, the southeastern part of the country remains um, protected uh, no matter how he does it anyhow way he won't do them um, the reality is that um, the chief of army staff and the rest of them have actually you know failed to do their needful and that is all the reality they have failed to do the needful they have failed to do what they are meant to do you know in protecting the lives and properties of uh, nigerians especially those in the southeastern part of the country and uh, if these um, freedom fighters and um, these agitators are doing the needful it is because of they have failed in their duty and it's because of the the, the issue of them um, the marginalization you know that we see in the southeastern part of the country we don't know the story we don't know the story we don't know the matter and we don't know what in even make nam the kano you know, to start up and um, to carry the man to, first of all, you know, to making sure that um, freedom comes to the, 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 the people of Biafra. It is because of this um, act of um, marginalization, the the Igbos, the you know, the, the Southeasterners, the Biafrans, in quote, have actually been marginalized in a country you know where they feel that they are nothing they are not good enough to be in that country a lot have actually gone down and them um, coming out from nowhere simon Epa, you know the disciple of mazinam de kanu who has carried them the forefront who has been on the forefront you know in fighting the biafran struggle you know has come out with his own pattern with his own fearful pattern anyhow you want to put it anyhow you want to uh, see it whether it works out for you or it doesn't work out for you the reality is that um, he has actually you know proven to the world he has actually shown the world that them um, truly that them um, biafrans are people you know that that should be feared you know biafrans are people that should be respected and that is the reality Make we go straight to the news where we carry come for you. The news in detail. The Chief of Defense Staff, General Christopher Musa, has said that the activities of Simon Ekpa, acclaimed leader of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB, are sabotaging the effort of security forces in the Southeast region. General Musa disclosed this when he led other service chiefs and the Inspector General of Police to appear before the House of Representatives at the commencement of his sectorial debate on Tuesday, November 21. The defense chief, who alleged that EPA was being protected by Finland, said there was need for the federal government to engage the Finnish government and possibly invite his ambassador to Nigeria. He said why the military and other security agencies in the country are doing their best to ensure that there is peace in Southeast. The comments and activities of EPA are sabotaging such efforts. EPA, who is currently in Finland, had taken over Namdekano after his um, abduction by Nigerian secret police and Department of State Services. Now, um, the, the chief of defense staff made mention of uh, one thing. He said that uh, the security operatives, you know, the military and the rest of them, you know, are doing their best. 
but you can agree with me that the best of these security operatives have not been enough with what we are seeing their best is not enough if as as a matter of fact their best have actually you know destroyed the, the peace in southeastern part of the country we know this and we are sure about this because of them um, we have seen what has been happening in the southeastern part of the country so their best is not enough their best hasn't been enough and we have seen whatever they have been doing so if they are trying to engage the finnish government what are they engaging the finnish government for they don't even have anything against Simon Ekpa. If you remember, I could remember the time the Nigerian government, you know, um, came in and then um, spoke concerning uh, the issue. In fact, they went further. You know, they went further to, to, to meet the Finnish government concerning uh, the issue of Simon Ekpa. After all said and done, after everything that happened, if there was one thing we knew, the Finnish government, they did not do anything. They only invited Simon Ekpa for questioning and that was all. Because these people, these foreign countries, they know how to, you know, they know how to respect laws. They know how to respect order. They follow their rules of laws and order. So if you're being caught committing any crime, they weigh things. They must have a clean evidence against you before going into action. Unlike the Nigerian government and the pattern in which, you know, they used to handle their own. In Nigeria, we, we, all we see here is a show of force by this military. That is all we see here. It is show of force. That is the only thing they do. Gara gara everywhere. These people no send you. All they care about is their own personal gain. They obey the last order. And that last order might actually be might actually be compromised so their effort has has been effortless their effort has not shown anything so these innocent Biafrans that are fighting for the freedom of their people or that have decided to protect their land i could remember you know one of the news i dropped them on uh, 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 on exposed news tv if there was one thing Namdekano said in his letter that he wrote, you know, to the appeal court chief, he was he, he tried to clarify the reason, you know, that led to the formation of the Eastern Security Network and the indigenous people of Biafra, because of um, how the people were tre being treated, because of the marginalization. That was the reason why um, um, the, the, the indigenous people of Biafra were formed. That is one. Then the Eastern Security Network, they went further to form that um, security wing because of how their people were violently being um, uh, treated badly in the south and um, eastern part of the country by these so-called Marudas. Then it was the issue of um, the Fulani Marudas you know, manhandling the innocent people, killing, maiming, and destroying lives and properties of these innocent um, people. And this was what led to Mazi Namdekano, you know, forming this, forming this security wing just to protect the people. And their activities were actually, you know, being restricted. So they were functioning majorly in the forest. And that is just the truth. So if the security operatives had listened and they have done their work, you know, when necessary, these issues wouldn't even have um, come out. That is just the reality. It couldn't have come out. But today, these people who have um, been protecting the life and property of um, the innocent um, Biafrans are now seen as um, bad people, you know. And that is a very bad thing. So the, the chief of defense staff don't come out, you know, they hit against Simon Ekpa. 
he has um, called out Simon Ekpa concerning uh, uh, what he feels uh, is happening in the southeastern part of the country. He feels the insecurity, you know, in the southeastern part of the country is being caused by Simon Ekpa. But we know the reality. We know the truth. We know those who are, you know, pushing against um, this um, problem in the southeastern part of the country. You don't hear them. Um, on Let's Talk TV, you don't hear the news, we'll carry on for you. Please, if you're joining us for the first time, please subscribe to this channel and make sure you turn on your notifications so that you get notified whenever we drop our spanking news. Thank you once again for joining us on Let's Talk TV.